Congestion has become a real issue for many, if not most, urban areas around the world. Pollution levels have increased, leading to health and environmental problems. There's a need for urban areas to develop sustainable traffic management strategies to reduce the negative impacts that congestion brings. The German city of Freiburg has developed an integrated traffic plan which is reviewed every 10 years, with a network of trams being the central part of the strategy. The tram routes cover 30 kilometres and are connected to 168 kilometres of bus routes. The system also offers unlimited travel at low fares, with concerts and sport tickets being valid to use on public transport, with 70% of the population living within 500 metres of a tram stop and a tram every eight minutes. The system is very user-friendly. Freiburg also has over 400 kilometres of cycle paths and thousands of cycle parks across the city, whilst there are restrictions on car parking spaces, which can cost up to £20,000. Other areas of the world also look to develop sustainable urban transport strategies, such as Singapore and Beijing in China. Singapore is a small island nation in Southeast Asia, so their limited space has led to serious congestion. To combat this, Singapore introduced a range of measures, such as increasing the price of petrol, high registration fees and stricter licensing requirements. Quotas to reduce the number of car owners, along with car sharing schemes and financial incentives to only use your car at the weekend. The introduction of electronic road pricing, along with rush hour restrictions, electronic control of traffic signalling, an overhead railway system, an efficient bus network, have all led to reductions in Singapore's traffic and congestion. 66% of all journeys are now on public transport, with a massive reduction in traffic on the roads. China's capital city, Beijing, has millions of cars and is frequently gridlocked. To combat this, a range of measures were put in place, such as limiting car sales, with only 20% of people being allowed to own a car. Banning cars from the city one day a week, dependent on your car registration, whilst non-residents cannot bring a car into the city. Increasing parking fees with a pollution tax and congestion charge aim to improve the air quality with a rapid increase in the metro and rapid bus transport system. All of these strategies have led to a 20% decrease in city centre car use in Beijing. Cities across the world are all starting to look carefully at their transport infrastructure and may need to make major changes in order to create a sustainable transport system for their residents.